this very earth which is what beer fair is all about i welcome you once again please you can listen via satellite some of you are listening via our radio stations our fm in biafra land and some of you are listening via youtube and most of you i do know are also listening via other apps as well i will not take your time i will speedily go and pray a very simple prayer the prayer of yeshua the prayer that yeshua prayed to remind us always that chikukika biyama is supreme that we revere we reverence we adore we worship we exalt him and him alone and only him is the creator of the heavens and this very earth and unto him do we anchor everything that we are today likely to become tomorrow and will ever be therefore once again allow me to welcome each and every one of you as we shall now proceed to go and pray this morning before our lines open our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on this earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory forever and ever we pray he say he say he say i am now going to open our lines and please may i crave the indulgence of those who are our regular callers those who have made it a point of duty and deservedly so to call us all the time i do appreciate all your calls but today we want to learn so much we are still mourning the death of our people who we are massacred in enugu 21 of them who were shot dead by terrorists in uniform we must make sure we propagate this that those who are terrorizing us are those who are in uniform very very important that we do so not minding what the enemies are doing not minding what bbc is doing to our people to deceive to lead our people astray so that we can become like the house of people so that we can become subservient to janjaweed primitive full animity Allah and it is not going to happen not now not tomorrow not ever all the enemies can try but they can never ever succeed once again allow me to give you the number to call people are calling us already the number to call as always and this number is clogged all the time it is clogged all the time therefore please I beg of you I beg of you if you have called us before do not call us again the number to call which is on whatsapp only plus one five one two nine five five two eight zero seven i repeat plus one five one two nine five five two eight zero seven that is the number to call we are also on skype the skype is IPOB all lower casing IPOB 2020 IPOB 2020 please at outlook.com IPOB 2020 at outlook.com some people are saying that our FM is a bit behind of course it will be behind because of the loops it has to go through before it comes on FM if you're listening via facebook live on my page and i'm sure most of you are hosting watch parties it should be immediate in real time if you're listening on the app it should be about two or three seconds um delay because you uh, my voice cannot travel faster than the speed of sound let us go and accept this very caller this morning the very first caller who happens to be on skype give us your name and where you're calling from please this is radio biafra no we cannot hear them can you hear me no we cannot hear them he is he, not saying anything let us go to the phone to see on the other whatsapp line to ask who is there your name please and where you're calling from and your question please yes uh, uh Marcy, good morning sir good morning to you Ma yes uh, my name is uh Osai Kizia. i'm from uh Uguta, imo state biafra land and where are you calling from? I'm calling from Indiana. I am the IQB media. Indiana zone one. 
Go ahead, please. Mazi. Yes, please. I want to appreciate you for. Hello. I can hear you. Go ahead. Yes, I want to appreciate you because I called you uh, last uh, last month in regards to our people that was arrested that you see in uh, Awuda prison. And you, you promised that you, we are going for them. After five hours, I saw what you posted. Their, name, their full names, their age, and the charge that the Zoo government gave to them. I want to say, on behalf of uh, Ndiyama, uh, I build Ndiyama Zowa, I want to say thank you very much. May Tupu Kiki Abiyama continue to bless you and give you more wisdom to move this IPO to struggle forward in the name of Chuo Kiyabiyama. Yes, 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 yes. I also want to find out if a uh, uh, pain of uh, moldy juice is he, uh, is he on? And if it is on, how can we get uh, the receipt? Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. And these are the sort of questions you should be asking the National Coordinator of Biafra and the sort of questions you should be asking our finance officer on the ground, Wada Marajibe and all the rest of the people. Such information I cannot give you on air, but of course, we have a lot of work that we are doing so that every assistance, every help, every contribution is needed and we are making judicious use of everything that has been given to us our land needs defending. We have been doing that um, for some months now. And in the case of Ebony, we've been doing that now for nearly a year. So that is how we sustain our men. That is how we fund our program. So it is ongoing. If you have, or if you're having issues with your receipt, then please contact um, Wada Amarachi. I think she'll be able to help you in that very regard. And once again, thank you for calling. Thank you for calling. We have another caller on the line. This caller, can you hear me? Give us your name and where you're calling from, please. Good morning, Mr. Mazi. Good morning to you. Please, your name and where you're calling from and your question. I am, yes, I'm uh, Nathaniel uh, Rodney uh, Sousa. Uh, I'm uh, from Edo State, but I'm calling you from uh, France. From France. You're from Edo State, from France. So you're from Igodomigodo, is that correct? Or you do? Yes, I'm. Yes, I'm from Ogodomigodo. Thank you very much. Please go ahead. Yes, uh, please. Uh, first of all, I want to thank you because uh, we don't have a role model again in Africa, and I thank you because uh, you are a role model, and uh, we are all looking on to you. And I, I pray that uh, you will not change because you have opened our eyes. Now we now know that the black man or uh, a brown man, I'm not a black man, a brown man now have some dignity because what you have been doing, you have now opened our eyes to have confidence in ourselves that we are worthy to live as human being. And uh, I want to also thank you very much because uh, the suffering of a black man always from slavery and colonization, that is why a lot of the places we are, even around the world, they want to hurt us down. But thank you very much for this course that you have taken up and uh, may God continue to strengthen you. But the question I want to ask, now the Janja with the soldiers, now they are prepared to overrun everybody in Nigeria and they have locked the borders. I don't know really whether you have alternative B because uh, they, they, they are just out to declare war on everybody. And we cannot just fight them back with our hands like that. So I believe that you have what it be because the world is not ready to speak anything about it because they are happy because of the benefit they are benefiting from Nigeria. So now they want to overrun us. What is your plan B? I know you may not want to say it on the air, but please, can you uh, kind of uh, give us a uh, hope or uh, an alternative? Because the gender weed, that is how they are, and they will, they, everything about them is war. And we must fight back. We must fight back to push them away from our land. Please, what are you going to do about this? Um, thank you very much. We are doing the best we can. We are doing the best we can to make sure that we counter them. Um, the fact of the matter is that 
uh, as I said before, it is in the interest of Britain to ensure, it is in the interest of Britain to ensure that we, our land is taken over. It is in the interest of Britain that our land is taken over by the very primitive Fulani Janjaweed so that they can have unfettered access to our land. They'll be able to control us. They'll be able to rule us indirectly this time around, uh, but rather in a far more brutal, far more deadly uh, fashion than they did, ever did before. And we are going to counter them. That I can assure you. That is why they are panicking. That is why they attack us. That is why anywhere they see people who are gathered, young men, they go there and they try to kill them. But they will never, ever prevail. We know what we are doing. We are marching speedily ahead. Our banner has been raised and it will not come down until we are free. They are going to find it extremely difficult. As I keep saying all the time, you cannot defeat an army you cannot see. It's as simple as that. And the whole world is aware. Now they understand that anything we do, we have justice on our side. Anything we do now, we have posterity on our side. They have provoked us. They are killing us. They are raping our children. They are basically defiling our mothers and taking over our land. They are forcibly settling in our place, telling us this nonsense about a united Nigeria, talking nonsense about Nigeria. In fact, I listened to something that Sumto Okonkwo posted. I think it was an old interview. I don't know. Between Mietiala, a, a, a debate between Mietiala, or should I say an exchange of views between Mietiala and one um, um, Ojo, who happens to be an Ojudua person regarding Amoteku. The reason why they want to water down Amoteku, and I'm very, very happy that one of the Yoruba governors uh, you know, came out the other day to say that there is all nonsense. They are not stepping down Amoteku to make it subservient to the IG of police is because, as I said, here on this very platform, what they want to do is to degrade anything meaningful, any security architecture that is meaningful. What Fulani wants to do is to degrade. Why is they using the police in the zoo to run you down? Their main army, which is Mineti Allah, Fulani terrorist headsmen, they are busy on the ground raping, pillaging, and uh, forcibly taking over our land. We are not going to allow that. We are not going to allow it, not now, not tomorrow, not ever. And they understand it. That is why they're doing all they can to try and stop us. And they will never prevail. They will never succeed. This is Radio Biafra. We are live and we are there. A lot of people are calling us and I should expect them to do so, of course. If you are calling us, make it very brief. Only two minutes, please, I beg of you. You give us your name, where you're calling from, and then you proceed. Please, you proceed to now... Um, ask your question. I would prefer people to ask questions, please. Okay. I would Thank prefer you. people to ask questions. Let's go and take this call. We have a caller on the line. This caller, can you hear me? The caller, can you hear me? This caller, can you hear me? Please give us, oh my goodness, give us your name and where you're calling from, please. I don't understand what is going on. I don't understand what is this line. Anytime I switch on this main line, this US line, it is always clogged up. Always, always clogged up. And can you hear me now? I don't know why your voice is not coming out. I have no idea why it's not coming out. I am trying to do the best I can to bring out your voice but it is not coming out because of... Can you hear me now, please? No, they are reconnecting. They are reconnecting. Give us your name and where you're calling from, please. My name... My name is Nazi Christian Ikechupo Kori. And where are you calling from? I'm from... Where are you calling from? No, not paying attention. Hello. They are not paying attention. I don't like people who do not pay attention. I do not like people who don't pay attention. If you don't pay attention, I cannot take your call, please. The caller on the line, please, can you hear me on WhatsApp, your name and where you're calling from, please? For the for the last time, your name and where you're calling from? No, they are not there. They are not there. They cannot hear me. They cannot hear me. 
We have another caller who happens to be on the line. If they can be patient enough to wait, then I will go to them. The caller on Skype, can you hear me? Yes, good morning. I can hear you. Good morning, I'm please. And, and your voice is very crisp and clear. Your name and where you're calling from, please. And you go straight to your question, I'm, if you may. I beg of I'm you. I'm coming from Germany. My name is Chikwando. Thank you. Chikwando from Germany. Uh, yes, from Germany. When I go before uh, 2011, but no Papa no give me. Auto guy can he draw my signal through Skype, can see with the number. I get the number through uh, WhatsApp, uh, Facebook. That time it was so long. Yes, go ahead, please. Well, I just some can I just some see can pull and can make it in a minute. I want to move your friend. Do easy. It's not easy for us, but you have done enough for us because I can remember what I passed through in Papua New Guinea that time. So I was there before, but I know what I passed through. Even to hold a zoo passport is very hard for you. But I just want to appreciate you for what you have done and putting your life and your life of your family for us. You made a lot of sacrifice for us. I'm very, very happy. Thank you so much for that. You're welcome, my dear brother. What were you doing in Papua New Guinea? Why would anyone go to Papua New Guinea anyway? I was there in 2011. I was uh, when I was there. I wanted to, you know, have a cross to. Australia. Then I was stuck there. I called you like that time, long time ago. He yes. was with you on my phone in the studio. Yes, yes. In 2011, you were stuck in Papua New Guinea. So where are you now then? Yes. Now I'm in Germany now. I live in Germany now. In Freiburg. This is what this is what the Janja would like us to do all the time. To keep suffering. To keep moving from place to place. But they will never ever succeed. Thank you very much, my dear brother, for calling. Thank you very, very much for calling. I appreciate your call. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for calling. We have another caller who happens to be on the line. I don't know if that caller can hear us. I don't know if they can because this line is, is just jammed. Oh, my goodness. My goodness. It is jammed. It cannot even take, not one single call can be taken from the main line itself because a lot of people are calling and i will ask them i don't know people should try and pace themselves because if we continue this way i will not be able to take any calls at all from our main line itself i won't be able to do that i will not be able to do that we have a caller on the line on the other skype line sorry on the other uh, whatsapp line please can you hear me No, you are wasting time. When people waste time, I cannot. I will not be able to take their call. Once you waste time, I will not be able to take your call. I need people who are agile, people who are ready always to ask their uh, question. Please, your name and where you're calling from, if you may. The caller on the line, can you hear me? He is not following up, not following up. Once you don't follow up, I will disconnect you. I will disconnect you. And may I also please plead with those who have called us previously not to call. Allow people, a lot of people are trying to get through. Allow them to get through, please. If you have called us before, this morning is not the day for you to call us again, please. Allow other people to try and participate as well. Very, very important. I have a caller who happens to be on Skype. This caller, give us your name and where you're calling from and your question, please. <laughs> Good morning, Mazi. Good morning. My name is Ike Ike Nachukuchaba. I'm calling from Iwacha, Biafra Land. Thank you very much. Please go ahead. Mazi, first of all, I want to say it's an honor to speak with you. And I want to say thank you, Chukwokitabiama, for giving us a man like you. In fact, I don't know how I don't know how to start from. I don't know how to go about this, but Chukwokiga Bema will bless you. God will continue to bless you. God will continue to bless you. Yes, you came at the right time. You came when we needed you and we knew it not. And yet you were so consistent. Your love for us has tried. May God bless you. May God in heaven bless you. God will continue to bless you. Any arrow of death will come down come to you. First of all, pass through me. Thank you. My much. question this morning is I am a woman. During the Biafra War, men 
were so distracted that they hid their families. They were so engrossed with how to protect their families. But this time, this era, our men move. We march with them. We march behind them. You underrate women so much. I don't know why you think we are so weak. But carry us along. How can we participate? How can we bring this war to, to wherever our enemies want it? We are, I, I don't. I have, Go ahead, please. Sorry, sorry to, to cut in. Go ahead. I have looked for a way to join the army. I have, I don't know, I don't know. I have been a member since 2015. The first day I heard your voice, I was in a hospital where my brother had an accident. I was so devastated. Your voice was what kept me that night. The first time I heard your voice, I knew that this person is worth following. I have been hearing about Biafra, uh, uh, IPOB, uh, sorry, uh, Mazob this, Mazob that. I never took interest. But that very night when I heard your voice, I knew yes. I had, in fact, I had good bombs all over me. And then I knew, and since then, we have been on the internet battling it. I am, a, I, a, 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 I am a, a bona fide member of IPO, and I'm proud of that. The tribe that is envied. Our enemies envied us. They envied, they pray that they, they have a man like you. And we, the people that have you, that are blessed. God bless us with you. And we still have so toys in us. I don't know, I don't care, I don't even know. Whoever dies today will not die tomorrow. Death is a common destiny. We all get to die someday. Yes. But what are we living for, children? Please, I don't know how, is there any group for women? There, I can, there is no arm that I know, I cannot, I have the heart of fire, and I, can, I will fight till the last. Yes. Is there any group for women? You can test me, don't make don't make it known yet. Test it to me, I want to go there, belong, do whatever you are doing. Prove to our men that there is nothing we cannot do, even in war we are greater. Our men, are, they have the heart of men, but we women, when we are touched, when our families are touched, the lost ones are touched. Oh, I don't think there's anything that can be compared to that. Test me. Uh, Let me know what is so. happening. I'll do so. Th thank you very much. Thank you very much for calling. I will do so. I will, of course, um, we have those we call our men on skirts, and there are women who are at the front line at this very moment, making sure we read our land of both uniformed and ununiformed terrorists. We are fighting very, very hard to make sure that all manners of terrorism, criminality, killing, raping, kidnapping is stopped in our land. We are doing it and doing it very, very effectively and I will get in touch with you. Our mothers are very... I, I don't play with our, with our women. I, I don't. Anybody who knows me will understand that. Our mothers are very, very important and as I said, earlier and will continue to say the day they came in and marched into this very movement i knew that biafra is a lot more or should i say was a lot closer than i had anticipated so it is a very welcome development and thank you very much for calling i have a caller who happens to be on skype once again skype appears to be better give us your name and where you're calling from please your name where you're calling from and state your question please hello yes please i can hear my voice in the background please turn it off turn it off if you want to speak to me not at all not at all not at all i do not once your call is taken, once your call is taken, please, please, please disconnect whatever device you are listening with. The caller on Skype, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Thank you Good very morning. much. Your name and where you're calling from, please, and straight to your question. Yes, my name is Stanley Aka. I'm where you calling from? But I'm calling from Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan. Even Azerbaijan yes. as well. My goodness. Please raise your voice. The world is listening. Go ahead. Azerbaijan. Go ahead. Okay. Yes. Uh, Mazi, I want to thank you very much for what you have been doing for our people. Thank you. I really thank you. Bless you. 
Uh, there is something I want to say because I'll be following up what is happening online about the saboteurs, but they don't know that they are still giving us uh, an idea of what to do. Uh, it's not a question. I want to bring up something, uh, whether maybe it is something that is going to be good for our people. Uh, like now, I, I would like you as the leader because very small time we are going to be holding all these politicians accountable. All these people that are going with the danger weight. We are going to be holding them one by one because the war is coming direct to them. It's not even coming to any other person. It's coming direct to them. Uh, I want to suggest something, whether it is possible uh, at least for IPOB, like now in Enugu State, I can be able to understand that Enugu State, their problem is uh, mainly they lack water a lot. And in some other states, let IPOB start putting on small, small projects, small, small projects in all the whole Biafran states. If this thing is possible, I will. I will really. Uh, I know that our people will be happy, and I will be happy also. It is possible. That is my suggestion. We, we have a lot of programs, uh, but the thing is that do not underestimate the powers that the governors also wield as the chief executive of the state. Do not forget also that the constitution under which they are currently operating, or under which people are being governed in the zoo was modeled along full and feudal system. They concentrate powers in the hands of women. That is why we have not been able to clean Aba very well for very many years. If you try to clean it, the governor will claim, of course, an executive mandate and will begin to arrest people who have come out to clean. It's a very good thing that I saw the other day that some people took it upon themselves to come out and see how they can uh, make Aba habitable once again. I do understand what you're saying. It is it's something at the back of our minds, and we are going to do it. But we cannot be doing projects when Mieti Allah is busy killing us, when Fulani Janjaweed in uniform are busy killing us, when they recruit um, um, terrorists into the zoo police and the zoo army, and they're in our land killing us. You know, it, we, our life is far more important, and that is what our brave men and women are doing this very day, even this very morning, trying to make sure that we are safe from these uniformed terrorists from the north and also the ones who are in our bushes raping, killing and maiming people. We must understand that. So once we are done with that, you know, once the has over the once we are done with that, then we can commence with every other project. For now our priority is to make sure that our land is secured. And that is what we are going to now do morning, noon and night until Biafra comes and beyond. Thank you very much for your call. Thank you very much. I do appreciate it. Thank you so, so, so much. We have another caller on the line. Skype appears to be a, a little bit more better. This very person on Skype, can you hear me? Turn your system down. Turn your system down. Can you hear me? Your name, please, and where you are calling from, if you may. Our people do not listen. Maybe that one is, um, is Mieti Yala. Who knows? Uh, the, if once I take your call, you must go proceed to give us your name and where you're calling from, please. Very, very important indeed. Very, very important. A lot of people are complaining about um, not being able to hear us and all the rest of it. What I would like you to do is to download IPOB Community Radio app. IPOB Community Radio app. Go and download it. Go and download it, please. Very, very important. And make sure you have data. It is low data usage. Make sure you have data. You will be able to listen to it, please. Very, very critical and very, very important. We are live and we are direct. And we are, of course, taking your calls as they come in. The caller on Skype, please. Can you hear me? Your name and where you're calling from, please. I'm uh, DJ Biafra. Thank you, you. Good morning, sir. Good morning to you. Oh, yes, I'm, a buffer. I'm calling from South Africa, and my name is Ndubisi Ozochuku. Thank you very much. Go ahead. Oh, yes, because I want a question, but before I now you got this question, I want to thank you for all you have been doing for us. We have been listening. 
this community radio is is very very is very very good for us and i've been enjoying it but i want to ask you one question sir ask is, is that any and is there is there is it going to be possible that if it happens that Fulani henchmen they are coming with war in Biafra land, all the whole indigenous people of Biafra all over the world, is there any any way they can provide means for them to return back and fight? Yes, anybody who people are people are waiting for for Miyeti Allah Fulani terrorists with their cattle. But the real terrorists are those in the army and in the police. That is one thing people don't understand. We have the official state terrorists who are the army and the police. And then we have Mieti Yala, the Janjaweed, who are now working to make sure that they occupy our land. So when people talk about terrorists, you must, you must mention the Nigerian army and the Nigerian police. They are the real terrorists. The only thing is that they are in uniform. They are the ones who are licensed to kill. Once they are wearing their uniform and they kill you, no court will entertain your case. You are finished. You are gone. You are dead. With the, those who are the, the, the janja with, those who are not uh, with their police or army uniform, those ones who can fight back. The reason why they are recruiting terrorists into the army and into the police is so they can continue their killing. That's what they are doing. Everybody from top to bottom of zoo army and zoo police they are terrorists they are in uniform that is why they do not fight terrorists that is why anybody who observed yesterday they were moving three trailer loads of arms into biafra land and we're waiting for them we know where they're going to and we're waiting for them let them be so stupid as to bring it in we are waiting for them three the, the arms that britain has been giving to them because britain has been going about lobbying for for nigeria to get arms as usual those arms are now being transported down to be given to terrorists, both those in uniform and those with cattle in our forest, to go and kill people. And we are letting the world understand this. Any arms you give to Nigeria, it will end up in the hands of terrorists. Terrorists are in the army, they are in the police, they are the ones killing people, they are the ones setting up illegal checkpoints and roadblocks and extorting money from people. If you don't give them money, they will kill you. People should stop expecting some kind of um, a jihadi army from Mali to descend down or from the Sahel. No. You have the terrorists now in your midst. The police, the policeman you are seeing with police uniform, the army man you are seeing on the road, because army should not, don't have any business on the streets. Anywhere in the world you see soldiers on the street is because there is an emergency. In the case of the zoo, there is no overriding emergency. The emergency we have was caused by Fulani people. They are the ones that created the terrorists. They are the ones telling you how to react to terrorism. It is impossible. They are the ones trying to control Amotekun, telling Amotekun how to react to terrorism when they are themselves the cause of terrorism. They are the ones that funded terrorists. They are the ones sponsoring them. They are the ones recruiting terrorists into the police. The same police you want to control people who are defending their land. The same terrorists. So we must understand that. And of course, people will have time to come back home and join this very effort. The, the, the fact we are defending our land is a collective effort. It is a collective effort. There are some people, as I keep saying all the time, with Janjaweed blood. Once your father is Janjaweed, either before, during, or after the war, you are bound to behave like a Janjaweed. That is the way it is. You can go and open a fake account and be messing up yourself. Is it going to stop us? Are you on the ground? If you think you're strong, I want you to be in Biafra land. Go anywhere and say anything bad against IPOB. You can go home that very day. They know it. And I don't want our people wasting our time responding to people who don't exist. These are computer, these are the sort of people that Facebook we are selling, uh, uh, or the companies that Facebook we are selling the information to. They go and they concoct some names and they come. What, how you need to know what you must do, all of us together, those who are talking about our politicians and the fact that they are traitors. Look at all of them. Have they said anything? Apart from Abaribe. And then yesterday was Obi Ezekwesele. Who else has come out to say all of them claiming that we are waiting? Let the, any idiot come out. 
you did not condemn the Janjaweed killing your people. You come out to say you're contesting for presidency. If you, what we will do to you, eh? You regret the day you are born. Come out and campaign for presidency. You see what will happen to you. Where they are killing your people, you, 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 you didn't say anything. You, you out of cowardice, you couldn't come out to say anything, but you want to come and campaign for president. Uh, I think they, they, they are demented. Let us go to the line, please. The caller on Skype, can you hear me? Your name and where you're calling from, please. Hello. Yes, your name and where you're calling from. Hello. 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 My name is Hello. I am calling from Italy. From Italy, please go ahead. Yeah. Um, Thank you. Please go ahead and in English, please. The world is listening if you can. Even broken English. Okay. Uh, what, I want, what I want to complain is something about our us. I don't know if I should go ahead or will I call you later. It's between me. I'm a coordinator here in Chisina Italy. I found a family by myself. I have a problem with my national coordinator. You can should I call you later or should I say? Yeah? Don't go ahead because there's no need for it. Go back to the national coordinator and find out what because I know that our national coordinator in Italy who took over from Iran, Michael Iran, was did a fabulously fantastic job in Italy. And our national coordinator now in Italy have just you know taken off from where uh, Michael Iran, the real Iran, please, Michael Iran is a he's a he's a Biafra, a hardcore one of us, of course. Um, and from the beginning, he's been with us. And he's with us till this very day. Did a very wonderful work in Italy. Please go back and find and try and resolve whatever issues you have. Please, thank you very, very because I know there are good people in Italy. I know our Italian family. They are very, very formidable. Very, in fact, they are now leading in the whole of Europe, with the exception of USA. They are now leading in all of Europe. Italy is now number one. The caller on the line, can you hear me, please? Your name and where you are, if you may. They call her on the line, they are not paying attention. They are not paying attention. If you call us, don't be afraid. Try and say something. You don't have to be scared. Go ahead and say what is on your mind. I can assure you. I can assure you. They said, um, check your page, he's saying another broadcast. What are you talking about? I checked the community radio a short while ago. It was broadcasting what I'm saying here. I don't know why people want to confuse themselves. What you are hearing on my Facebook page is what is on the community radio. There is no other one. I'm not aware of any other one. And don't think that the enemies will not try. This is a new application. I listened to it. It was fine. It was glorious. There is nothing at all that is wrong with it. I will try it again to show you that it is my voice that is coming out on our app. I don't know this type of silly, stupid information. I don't know where it is coming from. I have no idea where it is coming from, please. I want our people, I will go back. They say that is a, there's a bit of a time delay, please. A bit of time delay. It is my voice that is coming out, please. My voice is coming out. Or has the app also crashed? I don't know. I don't know if it has crashed. I am trying to see if I can... A bit of absolutely, absolutely my voice is coming out. On. People should stop peddling. People listen to garbage from, from, from idiots, from Janjaweed answering evil names. Our app is fine. IPOB community radio is fine download the app and listen to us it is low data usage it doesn't cost you much data it doesn't cost you anything for goodness sake go there it is working we are live and we are direct and the whole world is paying attention they are listening to us and rightfully so and rightfully so please and rightfully so i don't know what people are. i said ipob community radio i didn't say radio biafra app Radio Biafra app, we are working on it. It may be playing an old program. IPOB community radio is streaming what I'm saying now. I can see the console in front of me. And it is working absolutely, perfectly fine. Don't allow Janjaweed with Igbo names to, to distract you. The caller on the line on Skype, can you hear me? Yes, good, morning, good morning to you. I cannot hear your voice. It is either your voice is very low or something is wrong. Please go ahead. Your name and where you are, please. My name is 
Thank you very much. Please go ahead. Thank you. 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 Thank my question is, uh, you said one day that uh, one day you will tell us why any state was used as the capital of Gafa. So since then, you have not said anything about it. I don't know if you can. You yeah, we are it. fighting to defend that same Enugu state. And one day I will tell you not now because some of you cannot handle the information. We have to be in Biafra before I will tell you. Because if I tell you now, you cannot handle it. You cannot handle the information. You cannot. I am telling you the truth. And as I said before, if you look at the quality of education in the zoo, if you look at the way that because what tells you how poorly an education system is, is by the way the people reason. Those who may have passed through that very system, the way they reason, that tells you all you need to know. That tells you all you need to know about the quality of education or lack of that they had to go through. Very, very important indeed. Once we are in Biafra, I will tell you. Right now, we know because in Biafra land we're going to do a DNA test. Those with Janja weed blood will not, will not enter. There are those who have Janja weed blood that are very genuine. I understand that. Those ones, you may screen them reorientate them and integrate them but those from the lineage of saboteurs they cannot partake nor participate and it is only then it is only then that we will be able to tell people the importance of enugu and why the british chose it and why the janjaweed have made enugu their headquarters that is why in Enugu State, we have more Fulani settlements than anywhere else. They are in the bushes and in the forest, and we are doing all we can to make sure that we clear them from there. If you have called us before, do not call us again. If you have called before, do not call. Allow other first-time callers to participate. Very, very important, please. Extremely important, you understand that. The caller on Skype, can you hear me? Good morning. Good morning to you. Your name and where you are, please. My name is Chibuza Ikechuku. I'm from Anambara State, Azubro, precisely. And where are you calling from? I'm calling, I'm calling from Dubai. From Dubai, go ahead. Yes, I really thank you for the good work you are really doing for us. Because if not for you and I, for maybe by now my name should have been changed to Isiaka or Musa. Really, I really thank you for the good work you are doing and I, for all over the world. Thank you very much. I said, may God bless you for the good. He said, he said. And I'm ready to come back to Yafra land. When, when the war is going to start, I'm ready to come back. It has because started already. They are, they are killing us when we gather the killers. Which other war are you looking for? They, they, they fall on a janja way. They are very clever. Because Britain asks them never ever to declare war officially. All they are doing is killing they they wear army uniform and they kill they put on police uniform and they kill the day we all see the police and the army as the real terrorists that way we'll, that day we will begin to survive as a people the real terrorists the real hardcore terrorists are in the army and in the police and they deployed them to biafra land to kill and to pillage very very important we understand that if I ask you not to call and you keep on calling, I will block you. That I can assure you, please. The caller who happens to be on WhatsApp, please, your name and where you are. Oh, okay. Good morning, sir. Mazin and the caller. Good morning to you. Your name and where you are, please. My name is Sisum Chuku. I'm calling from Mozambique. Thank you very much. Please go ahead. First of all, Mazi, I want to sympathize with you over the kind of uh, IPO member that happened at the MN Enugu State at Biafra Land on Sunday. I sympathize with the whole family and I ask God to bless them and they grant them eternal ways through Christ Jesus our Savior. Uh, Mazi, what I want to ask, is there not the, has it not come the time for us to call back on those terrorists killing our people? 
That is what we are doing. If you have been following our broadcast, that's what we are doing. For we, we are in the hunting season. Every terrorist, every terrorist in our land, every terrorist in our land will have to face the music. There are, and let me repeat again, as I'll keep repeating every blessed day. There are two groups of terrorists terrorizing our land. One are the group of terrorists in army and police uniform. These are clear court terrorists. It doesn't matter if they are DPO, it doesn't matter if they are the commission of police. These are terrorists. These are full and hardened terrorists in uniform killing innocent civilians. Because whenever there is rape, whenever there is oh, oh, full and um, danger with them in the forest, you don't see them. They don't come out. They don't arrest anybody. Those that they arrested, the other day, they release them. That is what they do. So the 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 only difference is that they are wearing um, um, a police or army uniform, and they are carrying officially issued AK-47 assault rifles. Then there is another breed of terrorists, the ones that belong to Miyeti Allah, telling you that they are doing their cattle business in the bush. All rubbish. All nonsense. These are terrorists. These are hardened terrorists. They are working hand in hand. Both the ones in uniform and the ones in the bushes, they are working hand in hand to make sure that we are conquered, to make sure we are enslaved. Some of them, some of your politicians are aiding them. When they see the truth, they don't speak it. When our people are under siege, they don't say anything. When our mothers are raped, they say nothing. When our sisters are abducted, they say nothing. These are what, what we are saying is that our anger should also be reserved for such people. They claim their positions. They want, they have seen some of them, their names being thrown about. They, uh, we are waiting for them. Anyway, before 2023, they will know. They have nothing to do anyway. That, that one they know for sure. They, they understand it very well. So they are wasting their time and their money and their effort. We are going home and we are going to Biafra land. They call her on Skype. Can you hear me? Your name and where you are, please. They call her on Skype. Turn your system down. Can you hear me? You are speaking from very far from your system. You are far from your system, and that goes to show you're not very serious. I don't want hands free. Come to your system, to your device, and you speak to us. The caller on WhatsApp, can you hear me? Yes. Good morning, sir. Good morning to you. Your name and where you're calling from? My name is Nima Ishikuwani. I come from uh, from Ubele. Just some few kilometers from Owe. Go ahead, please. Thank you. I, when I came to Germany in 1992, that was when everything changed. I came normally as everybody needed to come to hustle for money. But then that went with me immediately. Because what I saw reminded me of Biafra. My own brother died fighting for Biafra. My brother died fighting. Up to today, we don't have, we didn't see at his grave. Okay. So. I was a dead man and was looking for somebody like you until 2015 when I was on visit in London, to London. I visited my friend that evening. He, he, that was the first time I had a bullet of Biafra. And I told him I'm going back to Germany, I'm going to fight with this man. This is the man I'm looking for. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, very, very brief and straight to the point. Thank you very much. A lot of people, they hear what we are doing and they become converted to the truth because truth is universal. Wherever you hear it, I, when even I was told that, uh, uh, that people in Somalia listen to our broadcast, I couldn't believe it until I saw the, the, the printout from the back end of the app. That tells you all you need to know that a lot of people are attracted by truth and the truth we speak here is what is going to set us free. We have a caller who happens to be on Skype. This very caller, can you hear me? The caller on Skype, can you hear me? Good day, my able leader, Mazinam Dekano. Good day to you, please. Your name and where you're calling from? My name is Mazi Chukwebuka. I'm calling from Mobuka in Anambra State. Please, go ahead. Please, uh, Mazi, I want to please ask, um, can you also give an order for our volunteers to remove anywhere at all in Biafra land, anywhere at all there is a police or army checkpoint to make sure
sure that such a thing doesn't exist in Biafalan again. Because like my village, to be precise, in Obunga, such a thing is, uh, is everywhere along that road. Because anything we are going to do, we are waiting for your order. Can you please give the order to remove every checkpoint in that Biafra land? All I can say to that is just watch and see what is going to happen. I am not going to second guess those who are fighting the terrorists on the ground. But I can tell you everything humanly possible will be done to ensure that those terrorists are removed, both those in army uniform and those in our bushes, that our land is safe for habitation. The world must understand that. Thank you very, very much. Just watch and see what is going to happen. That I can assure you in the coming weeks and days, you'll be hearing it. I won't announce it live on air. You'll just hear it maybe um, from um, third party sources. But as for us to announce it here, no. But just watch and see what is going to happen on the ground. The caller on the line, can you hear me? The caller who happens to be on WhatsApp, your name and where you're calling from, please. No, 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 no. no. People are not paying attention. Once you call us, you must pay attention, please. You need to pay attention. You need to pay attention. Very, very important, please. Very, very important. You need to pay attention to what we are doing this morning. Once I take your call, endeavor, endeavor, please, to switch off your listening device. The caller on Skype, can you hear me? Good morning, Moise. Good morning to you. Your name and where you're calling from? My name is uh, Ocha Emeka. I'm from uh, Enugu State, an area local government. I am calling from Sweden. From Sweden. Thank you very much. Please go ahead. Yeah. Uh, first of all, I want to say that I'm sorry for not uh, taking the call the last time you picked it because the YouTube is uh, always, uh, your voice is uh, far ahead. Okay. than what we hear okay I'll so we don't know when you YouTube, pick right? up the call <laughs> yeah okay. so i want to say something about uh, our people the ones that uh, are being raided uh, from uh, mna massacre the other time the the boys i saw in the tv they were not bold to say what happened and that is not good they were the only person, person who was I mean, spoke. Are the, in those in yeah. police custody? I mean, the ones they raided and they showed us on TV, which they said they are the ones shooting uh, How the can they be bold when the full terrorist is there with microphones standing over them, having tortured them? What do you want them to say? When the terrorists yeah, are but there? I want, Mazi, I want you to encourage our people because they are already in public. Once it is in public like that, they should be courageous enough to tell the public what happened. No, because, because, because it wasn't live. On the, it on was the not ground. live. You don't know I was Channels expecting TV. Them listen, to say listen very carefully to me. You don't know Channels TV. Those things you are watching there were not transmitted live. It's recorded. They record it, they go to their studios and they cut out the parts they feel could be incriminating for them. And they air whatever thing that they want to air. Don't you know that? I wrote something on my page. Go to my page, you will see it. I, I wrote a statement um, um, about what happened, you know, uh, to IPAB worldwide. Do you know what? Go to some newspaper headline of yesterday that I'm considering giving in, that I'm considering dropping the struggle. That was the headline from some newspaper as of yesterday. There was a debate in Lagos yesterday. People were being interviewed on the street about my decision to withdraw from the struggle which is a lie so once you get, that is why that is why you see all these zoo newspapers and television stations they will never interview anybody live so what you saw was not live they have been heavily tortured after beating and torturing them one of them had a gunshot wound what do you want him to say that was what happened, please. Our people are very, very brave. And they are demonstrating it right now, even as we speak. Thank you very, very much for that. They will have another caller on the line, please. This very caller, can you hear me? Your name and where you're calling from, please? Yeah, I'm Emezu. Good afternoon from Warsaw, Poland. 
This is okay. For the Nocio, calling from Warsaw, Poland. I appreciate you. I say, my AK Croach, who brought you? Give you divine wisdom, divine connection, divine contact, divine creativity to take us to our motherland. Yes, sir. To that which we started, but he never fell until Biafra is restored. So we go home and rejoice and dance naked. Mazi, I have two questions for you. Number one, Mazi, uh, it has come to our notice that our boys are cutting down our economic trees in Biafra land, using them for charcoal and probably shipping them to some other African countries, thereby causing deforestation in our economic economy in our economy economic and environmental situations that is number one i don't know what you say about that and these trees are examples of these trees are over uroko tree and mahogany i want your take on this and secondly my second question is this about this jungle justice mazi in biafra land that have been prevalent now recently two boys were hacked down and the boy of nine years was set ablaze in Lagos. Are, uh, is jungle justice made for the poor, not for the politicians in Biafra land, and even in the zoo country? And I think you are the only person who can put a stop to that nonsense. I remembered when we were in Geneva together, and I asked him the que one question about asylum, and you solve that problem once and for all. So no Biafrans in diaspora will say today that document his problem. I appreciate you to that. Mazi, I don't want to say much. I ask you, government, to give you that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to take us home, especially this critical point in time. We are solidly behind you. And at the end of the day, a trouble that Biafra will come because Onya Moda, Onya Moda had a murder. I leave it from here. I remain okay for the mercy from Warsaw, Poland. And secondly, our, 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 we are, we are, we are in Poland here, we are trying everything humanly possible to come up with our formidable IPOB. Everybody will hear about it and will be inaugurated very, very soon. We are in talk with our European rep. We appreciate you. Thank you very much. Thank you, my brother. Thank you, thank you very, very much. He said, I'm blessed you too. I'm blessed you too. Thank you very much, brother. Thank you. And I want to make this very, very clear. The more you deforest our land, the more you turn it into a savanna, and the more the cattle will come in to graze. Because a cattle cannot graze in a rainforest, because there is no grass. These are the things that people don't understand. But of course, I do understand also the economic imperative of, um, of personal survival first. Isn't it very strange that we are cutting down our trees, our very precious trees, to make charcoal when we have natural coal in Enugu? Nobody minds it. It is just there. Chukwokeka Biyama, God Almighty in heaven gave us that coal so that our land will remain a rainforest. So if you want to cook, you can use coal to cook. The, the Fulani is there. When these terrorists, they, when they lost the place, we don't have access to coal. People are busy deforesting our place. Making it possible for Fulani to bring their cattle to, to enter into our villages and to take over our communities. But of course, all of that is going to stop very, very soon. And I have said it. Anybody who is found trying to deliver mob justice or kill any minor, they will be in very serious trouble from today. It is being outlawed across Biafra land. No killing, no jungle justice anywhere, please. Your politicians who are stealing billions, you're hailing them, doing toggery for them, snatching ballots for them. Their own criminality is a billion times worse than somebody who stole a handbag. I'm not trying to condone them. Thieving is not good. But please, let us have a sense of proportion. Those who deserve to be burnt at the stake are the politicians, not people who, out of hunger, will go and steal. I want us to be a little bit more sensible, please. I know that um, it is very, very difficult 
for people who may have passed through a very dreadful education system to reason properly. I do plead with all of you, no more jungle justice, please. I beg of you, do not do that. It doesn't um, um, augur well or sit well with us. It doesn't at all, at all, at all. I have another caller who happens to be on Skype. Give us your name and where you're calling from, please. Your name and where you are, please. Good morning, Mazi. Can you hear me? I can hear you loud and clear. Please go ahead. Your name and where okay, you are. Okay, Mazi. My name is Indubi Sos. I'm calling from Lagos, Nigeria. Please go ahead. Mazi, uh, uh, what I want to say this morning is my first time of reaching you since I've been following you. May God Almighty bless you for all the work you have been doing and all the efforts you have been putting to ensure that this, our freedom, become a reality. Uh, Mazi, not, not to uh, take much of your time, I want to go straight uh, towards two things. One of the things I want to mention as, uh, as a result of the situation on ground, Mazi, I want you, uh, please, uh, to pass the information like secretly to our people to work much on uh, 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 on secret, as in, like secret missions, like what they call intelligence. Because uh, in any battle, you can't really defeat your enemies without having a core intelligence. I want our people to stop uh, 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 you know, making themselves more open to the enemies. Let them watch more, work more on the intelligence. And also our men that have been in the military service, in a, or, uh, any kind of force service, I want them to bring up what they have at this point because this is what we need to fight enemy. We need intelligence, serious, serious. Information that came to me last night about this cow. Uh, we need to also put more information about this cow to our people to, you know, uh, remove everything that has to do with eating of cows. Last night I got one information from somebody living in Kanu State about what Fulanese always do with cows whenever there is a, a kind of a, a riot or maybe a uprising between uh, Easterners and the Fulanese or maybe uh, 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 things happen in the north, that they always get the black cow, the black and white cow. When they get the black and white cow, they always make a sacrifice and bury it on in the ground so that by eating those cows, our mind and our energy will become weak. We will also be, you know, uh, uh, coming back after the uh, riot. Our people will still come back to their land, you know, but we need to do something because we know that whatever effort they are putting, since we are getting the information that those their efforts will become powerless. Mazi, uh, that's the information I want to pass to you this morning. May God Almighty continue to bless you and protect you and all our your leaders. You see, you see, um, what you're saying uh, is correct and we have taken that on board and i'm not going to tell you now but i can assure you i can assure you that our people who are in the diaspora those working in security related fields they are in touch with our volunteers on the ground and providing help expertise and support in whichever way and whatever way they can that i can assure you we are well coordinated in what we are doing and victory is ours. Victory is ours. Nothing is going to stop the emergence of Biafra. They will try all they can, but they will fail, as they have been failing before. Once again, if you're having difficulties listening to this very broadcast, go and download. Tell people to download IPOB Community Radio. We are there live, and there are no issues. We are there live, and mind you, sometimes some people who were fathered by Janjawi, they will come online to say that we have one issue or the other. Be very, very mindful of that, please. Be very, very mindful. I have a caller on the line on WhatsApp. This caller, give us your name and where you're calling from, please. Good uh, morning to you, my second leader. My name is uh, Mazifang Ichuko Jukusa. Uh, I'm calling from Libya. I am Zona coordinator here in Benghazi, sir. Benghazi in Libya. So I really want to thank you for... Yes, sir. Benghazi in Libya, sir. I am the zonal coordinator here, sir. Go ahead, please. I am from Imo State, in Biafra land. Sir, I really want to thank you for your good job. 
I really want to thank you for what you'll be doing for we girlfriends because, sir, I call you the future of our time. According to the Bible, they say Moses starts the leading of Israelite, but he couldn't finish it. Joshua led the children of Israelite to the promised land. That is why I call you the Joshua of our time, sir. I say, Mechuko Kerowa, Eke Kerowa, the God of our ancestors, the God of the whole universe, sir, may he continue blessing you, sir. Yes, sir. And, sir, in Libya, although he suffer, he stopped somehow, but to God be the glory, we are pushing it. At least we have almost, we have about six zones a year, I think, six or seven, sir. Six zones in Libya. Extend, uh, not six or seven zones here, sir. There's part the mentality of the indigenous people here, but God is really working it out, sir. Sir, I say may God bless you. And uh, finally, I pray that may God give you the wisdom, the knowledge, the understanding, the strength to lead us to the perfect land. May God bless you, sir. You that say, is you what say. I want to say, sir. Thank you very much for that. Thank you very, very much. Our people must understand this. I... A lot of suggestions come in and we take it on board as well. There's some All the work we are doing right now on the ground is intelligence driven. It is, in, it is intelligence driven. But our people will need to understand something. When you see somebody from the north, the Janjawi, they have now corrupted our people as well in police or army uniform. Don't think they have come there to safeguard your life and your property. No. They are coming there to pave the way for the Janjaweed, the real jihadi army, to take our land over. That is why they kill us. Nobody can come to your land and pretend to be a security officer and then engage in the taking of lives. And then engage in the taking of lives. These are the things that our people ought and need to understand. They must understand is that Anybody you see in army, be it army or police checkpoint, these are terrorists. The only thing is that they have uniform. You must understand it. And all of you spending your time and money and effort patronizing and uh, eating their cow meat, it has been proven that that is the only reason why they have to come to our land. We survived for three years. We survived air, land, and sea blockade without full meat, we can survive again most of you that reason like ginger with like flammy people maybe because you eat their meat too much maybe that is the reason why but we are involved in a fight for national survival our enemies have come in their aim is to obliterate us from the face of the earth to do to us what they did to Hausa people, what they did to Middle Belt, make them subservient over centuries. That is why today they cannot get, come together to rise up against the people who are less than 20 million. Full army as a whole, they are less than 20 million. But look at what they are doing to the majority of the people. Because the people are very foolish. Because you eat full and meat. The caller on the line, please, can you hear me? You happen to be on Skype. Give us your name and where you're calling from. Let nobody thank me, please. I don't need all these thanks. Go straight and ask your question or make your contribution, please. Go ahead. Uh, Marike, good morning, sir. Good morning to you. Sir, my name is uh, I'm calling from uh, Ekanot East in Biafra land. Eka. And your man, to be precise. Thank you. Please go ahead. From Eka, go ahead. Um, I stay, I live here, but I'm not from the... No, I can't hear you. Hello? Yes, go ahead. Go ahead. We are listening. Go ahead. Uh, I, I, I'm not... No, no, no. This one is saying, once somebody starts to say, is, is my voice coming out? You know that they're not serious. The caller on the line, please. Can you hear me? Oh, good morning. Good morning to you, please. Your name and where you're calling from? Well, my name is Uzondo from um, Ameri, Oru East Local Government, and I'm calling from Estonia. You're in Estonia? Yes, sir. My goodness. 
Uh, it's, been, um, it's my pleasure talking to you, sir. You're, I don't know how to say this, but you're the best. You're God sent. And um, I don't know if you can permit me to. Um, I, mean, I think I need to say something. Um, my, I've been a follower of the Biafran struggle. And um, actually, I'm shaking right now. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. I think I've known about the. How I've been, you actually opened a lot from you. Your, you spoke a lot. You told me a lot. You even gave me more confidence in about my uh, about who we are. Uh, my father told me about um, that we are Jews, and um, I've been reading about this since I was a kid, and I've been thinking it was a myth. So you know, when they say something is myth and legend, and um, you read about it, you read about it, and like, are you serious? Am I an Israel? Am I a Jew? And um, I think I have been reading it. I've been seeing so much Jewish um, traits and uh, characteristics in all virtual ebook people. And um, you came on air. To actually, I got. I was working in ABC Transport, and I, you know, basically in that place, you see a lot of ebook people. They talk about Biafra. They talk about Masob Then, and I don't like how thuggish they talk, and they are like. But I needed someone articulate, someone real, someone reason. And then, then I think I, I followed them. Raf was Ricky, and was like, no, no, this is not my kind of person. I would like to see as a leader. And I was, I'm um, actually, I was in the internet. I was in the management section, and um, somebody told me and said, "Kings, I like the way you talk, but Muzondo, uh, I like the way you talk." The Kings is my English name, but my usually take Muzondo, uh, which is my name. Um, and I said, I like the way you see things, and uh, he now told me about Redo Biafra. That was in, since 2014. And since then, I've been following you. I was like, wow, who's this guy? Who's this? And I came to Europe, still was following you. And I was like, everything you do, you say, are like spot on on how I see things. And I want to say thank you for giving me so much strength so much understanding and i'm here to support you in any kind and besides estonia is the future and um, uh, i think uh, we know what we are doing and we are following you and the future is ours thank you so much sir i really appreciate you thank you very much and thank you for calling thank you very very much for that thank you my dear brother thank you for that in estonia and estonia is doing very well uh, they are at the cutting edge of new technology. They are doing very, very well in Estonia, and I do hope and pray that we have a very credible and formidable IPOB family in Estonia as well. I need to ask Abwangim to clarify that, and I should have asked my brother, but he's no longer on the line. Thank you very, very much for that. We are live and we are direct, and the whole world is listening. Humanity is paying attention to us, please. Paying much attention to us. You know, sometimes I wonder, can somebody please tell... All these, all these, in fact, I need all the pictures of the Fulani settlements in Biafra land. Posted, please, I need it posted. Of all the, I want to ask all these so-called politicians. I want to ask the Fule who is the baby saboteurs. I think, don't engage them in any conversation. Go and get the pictures of the Fulani settlements in our villages and show it to them. When you, when, you, when you post the picture or the video, you put down the name and you ask Efunef, what are you doing about this? You ask the politician who wants to contest for, for 1592 presidency, ask him, what are you doing about this? Do you see what they have done? Let me tell you something. They fathered or they sired all these idiots to take your eye away from the ball. I've told you this many, many times. As they are doing it, they are, they are, they are fathers and, they are, and they, they are fathers' relatives from, from, from the Sahel. They are busy advancing and building settlements in our villages. Oh, this is this Biafra thing they are doing. Oh, we are asking in the idiot's village, there is a full settlement there. In the next 50, 60 years, that is what their gift, the gift of their stupidity to generations unborn, is a full and enclave in our land. Something that God Himself said no to. When the Fulanis were busy pillaging and rampaging and, and decimating the whole of the Middle Belt, they came to Benue. Then God made them blind. No Biafran army met them. Nobody from Idoma met them. 
But at the same time, they were busy ramping, they were in Nupe, they were in Aquara, they, 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 they brought jihad to go all the way to the Atlantic. The only thing that saved the Yoruba people was that they moved. They moved the headquarters from Iloren to Ife. And in Ife, Ife is a, is, a, is a rainforest. They couldn't come in. Their cavalry couldn't come into the rainforest. People don't understand this. When you're cutting down our trees in the forest, you are making our land open for the enemy to come in because Fulani cannot fight a war in a forest. They can fight a war on the plains. They can fight a war in grasslands, but they cannot fight a war in the bushes in the forest. Never. These are the things you don't understand. Why was it easier for them to take over the whole, whole of Hausa land? It's savannah, mostly grass and very short trees. That's why. But in the forest, they cannot it. They cannot come in. So stop cutting down our trees. Our people need to understand. They, listen to me very carefully, please. You must understand. The British did the same thing when they came. You know when the British came, you know what they did? They started from Azon. They started to appoint warrant chiefs. Those who used to sell uh, or middle men for slave, uh, for, for, uh, for slave dealers. When they were about to stop slavery, they started appointing warrant chiefs to do their bidding. Now, I want to ask you something. Look at all those warrant chiefs, even including uh, um, um, Chief Okugo, the one that caused the Aba women's rights in 1929, for, for some of you that know history. Are you going to now tell me that uh, the children of a warrant chief that was educated, the white people took them, took them to London, took them to America, educated them, they came back. Are you telling me they are going to criticize a system that empowered them? The same thing is happening in our land. Do you expect politicians who depend on Fulani Janjaweed for patronage to rise up and speak against Fulani? It's not going to be possible. That is how you know that none of them is qualified. Me, me, apart from Abaribe, none of them is qualified to stand up and talk rubbish and say, I want to be president. Rubbish, none of them is None, and I said, none is qualified. None is qualified. Take the settlement of Jan give show it to a slave. Show who call baby Sabo say this is this is a full and settlement in your village. What are you doing? They'll tell you, oh, there's a way to do it. It's not the way IPOB is doing it. Ask them how. The same thing happened in our land. That was why the British succeeded in messing us up today the use of warrant you see them that time oh my son went to cambridge my son went to oxford the son of look at onyema look at onyema you know onyema the foreign secretary of the zoo nigeria look at him he came from such lineage does he identify with you does he even he is the one even going about and telling foreign countries that he is an evil man he's telling them that ipob is a terrorist group onyema is an evil man but raised by his father was raised empowered by the british go and ask that is their mentality that is the way they behave that is their mindset you can never change them full any man came during the war saw an Igbo woman, saw an Azon woman, saw a woman from Ibibio and got her pregnant. And you want that child to start to reason like a girl? No, now you have to reason like your father. Is it not what they say where we come from? If they see you, know, this child, look, oh, this boy, you look like your father. Or you behave like your father. Why you didn't know? Isn't that what we say? They must look like their father. They must behave like their, their parents. And their job is to distract you. Their job is to confuse you so that the Fulani settlements, the Janjaweed, will keep on erecting their settlements in our land. And we're not going to allow them to do that. The caller on the line, can you hear me? The caller on Skype, can you hear me? No. The caller on Skype, can you hear me? He's, he, he, he did mute his phone. His phone is on mute. That is the problem. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. I can hear you. My dear. Good morning from here. Good morning to you. Please, your name and where you're calling from? Thank you very much, sir. My name is Pastor Jack. I'm calling from Lagos this morning. Mm -hmm. I want to appreciate you, first of all. Uh, uh, yes, the reason uh, people are complaining about the transmission uh, is... Um, the, our, uh, our radio FM and our satellite is not transmitting this current uh, broadcast this morning. Only the community app is transmitting. Then, so they, let, then let them download the app and listen via the app. Let them download yes. the app and listen because the app is low data usage. 
it is way cheaper than Facebook, way cheaper than YouTube, way cheaper than even taking selfie and posting it. Rather than people yeah, uh, taking selfie, they should download IPOB Community Radio and then listen to it via the app. Please go ahead. Okay, I've told them my leader. Okay, first of all, uh, just like um, you were saying, I think uh, my cousin brother was killed a few days ago in Tarara State, where he works with a Chinese uh, Chinese firm. Out of ten of them in the factory, they killed three. That uh, those three are Biafran people. Who killed and them? They left the other seven. Who killed them? Ah, uh, this bandit. Put a full any bandit in Tarara State. In Tarara State. Put any bandit in Tarara State. Killed them. Okay, go ahead. Exactly, sir. And so, uh, because of this, uh, because of uh, the situation, precarious situation we have not seen in our land, I want to a uh, kind of uh, uh, ask if there is a way we can, uh, because some some of our brothers from other part of uh, the world that is not US are saying, is there a way they can support uh, our security, our volunteer, our volunteer arm financially so that? They can be on top of uh, on top of the game because as it is now, this danger we do know how they operate. They will not give up until they have seen the fear force coming from us. That is only when they will pull and they, they will surrender. So I don't know if uh, you can um, you can uh, allow other people from uh, other part of the world to a uh, kind of set up fund to support this uh, volunteer on ground so that we can be able to. Act of course what you're saying is correct we need every support and i can assure you that we are going to do all we can we are going to do all we can we are going to do all we can to make sure that we drive away our enemies they cannot succeed not now not tomorrow not ever our people must understand that they must understand that. Thank you very much, my Deborah, for calling. Thank you very, very much. People should please go and download. Go and download the app. Download the app, please. Very, very important. Download it. The caller on the line, can you hear me? I have a caller on Skype. Can you hear me? No, they cannot hear me. Let me go and take another call, please. The caller on Skype, can you hear me? Good morning, Hamadike. Good morning to you. Please, Good your name and where you're calling from? Um, my name is Mecha Slaughter. I'm coming from UK. Thank you, from the UK. Please go ahead. I met you once when you came to Barcelona. In Barcelona. I think that should be good for thing. Thank you. In Barcelona. Thank you. Please go ahead. So... Um, I have many things which I want to pass on and some are questions. One, please, is I want to know whether you've tried calling these foolish governors one-on-one. -on -one. We have written, I have say, written to them to tell them about the need to have a regional security force. And they said no because uh, the, the chairman of the governor's forum is Omahi. They promised Omahi presidency. And Mieti Yala, he's a good friend of Mieti Yala. So, so he doesn't, like I'm telling you what he, is in the open. So he doesn't want to do anything to upset Mieti Yala. I have spoken, and I've, uh, with the exception of um, the Supreme Court Governor of Imo State, who you know is a, is a full animal in disguise. They don't have the liver, they don't have the metal, they don't have the patriotic zeal. They don't have the love for our people to do anything to defend us. Nothing, absolutely nothing. All they want to do is to be there. And these are the idiots that claim they want to go and contest for presidency. These are the fools. They are killing your people. These are the idiots. They are massacring your people. You cannot say a word. Other people are formed. Look at, look at how Yoruba governors come on TV to say to me, Yala, to hell with you. I'm not a queen. He's staying. Our own oh, no, community policing. Hey, it is by community, by clan, by clan, village by village. And meanwhile, our you, Oman himself opened his mouth and said that our mothers are being raped in a boy. They're doing nothing. These are oh, Chinese and I don't know what is wrong with these people. I have no idea what is wrong. With uh, them. Me, I keep praying for them to change. I keep praying that I, I want them to surprise me. I want to go to sleep tonight. I wake up tomorrow and I hear comments and statements from them, and I will say, oh, thank God that they have now come to their senses. Please go ahead. Um, another one. Uh, I want to say that first we should this 
arm these uh, headers in our in our villages because the government don't want to disarm them because they were the people that armed them at the first place so we should find a way to disarm them first we know that with the ones within we have taken care of them one other thing is that um i want to say please can you advise those at the north to come back just like what uh, our leader our, our the leader did at the first you know for them to come back from the north so that because they are going to be the first victims that have been that are going to be taken down then uh this our dpo and dsp i don't even understand why they should be uh, there should be northerners in our land and in the northern side i don't think there is any Igbo or any any people from the south east that is in dpo or that side so this is where all these things started from and our people they accepted it no, and, uh, now, now hold on i want to tell you something these are the things that people don't understand as i said before immediately the war ended there was a very high profile saboteur who was a university of Ibadan. then his name is obadi asiga he fought Ujubu. Mm -hmm. He, he was in Ibadan and traveling between Ibadan and Lagos, writing rubbish. Because somehow, maybe he spoke to Azikiwe, and they knew that the British would support uh, the zoo until Biafra would basically collapse. And they hedged their bet, and they succeeded. He was made the then governor of the newly created East Central State, which was a balkanization of Biafra, basically. And because nothing happened to Abi Asika, Biafran soldiers that fought, none of them was upset enough to stake his life and go and kill Abi Asika, which is what they should have done. To send a clear message to saboteurs. Because we allowed Abi Asika to survive. Because we allowed that lineage, Kematikwe, all these traitors. Because if you look at them, they are the ones they make ministers. They are the ones they keep promoting. They are the ones that will come and say, oh, we are the elite. So, in other words, for you to survive, you have to be a saboteur. For you to survive, you have to be a traitor against your people. That is why you have a flourishing um, treachery industry going on now. That is why they can come to Imo State and bring somebody who came forth in an election and make him number one. Who puts an and we have done nothing about it. Absolutely nothing. But hopefully that will change very soon. To some extent, so once they see all these things, Fulani will become more emboldened. Our people in the north will say, Oh, what are we coming back home to, to come and do? Somebody who was advising earlier that we should ask people to come back home. There is a saying where we come from. You must understand that very well. So when people don't want to put their lives or prioritize their existence, then uh, uh, they, 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 their heads will be cut off. And the Fulani will not stop until they take over our land. They will never ever stop. They can never stop. Nobody can stop them until they achieve full conquest of our land. But hopefully we will not let them. Thank you very much, my dear brother. Thank you very much. I have a caller on the line. This caller happens to be on Skype. Your name and where you're calling from, please. The caller on Skype, can you hear me? No. Maybe they are scared to speak when, he, when, he, when, when they write their comments, you see them boasting and talking. And when they hear my voice, they freeze. The caller on the line, can you hear me? The caller on Skype, can you hear me? Yes, good morning, my leader. My name is Emeko Koro. Emeko, where are you calling from? I'm calling from Imo, Biafra land. Well, there is nothing like Imo in Biafra land. We have Imo River, not Imo. Where are you calling from? Oh, simple. Oh, very sorry, it's my some, leader. Very simple. Please go ahead. My leader, please, I want to thank you for what you have been doing so far. I'm very grateful. In fact, I'm, I'm the happiest man on earth now, hearing your voice. Hello? Thank you. Can go you ahead. Hear me? The world is also hearing your voice as well. Please go ahead. I want to make some contributions. Go ahead. One of, the, so. one of the things I want to say is this. Since our governors, the Fulefus, the saboteurs we have in Biafra land don't want to learn from history, then we make the history. For every life, every life, every Biafra has gone down, their family should go down since they, want, they don't want to get the message. We have been trying to be peaceful. 
trying to be peaceful, but they don't want to take it serious. They are going to hear very soon that Biafra was once a peaceful group agitating for their freedom. Most people come to my Facebook and inbox me, why are you supporting this foolish man in, in Europe fighting for Biafra? I tell them, you are stupid. How, how much have you funded in this struggle? Now we are shouting Israel, Israel. The Zionist move, movement started in 1897. They should go back to history. It took them 51 years to achieve the state of Israel. How old is Biafra? I, IPOB. And you're here shouting, blah, blah, blabbing your mouth. For every life taken, their family should go down. One of their families, since they, they can go and hire Russian assassins to be protecting them in Europe and in a Asia, they think we don't, we don't know where they, they are where about. We don't know their games, their, their game plans. Now, let's make it very open. Don't mind the he, 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 will, he will die very soon. It will not take him up to two years. He will, he will die very soon. He will die like that. That's one thing I like about Father Mbaka. When he preaches, the, his prophecies, everybody he prophesies for, he dies after two years. He should check the flip, the one that just died. The <laughs> Jubilee. <laughs> check it now, check it. Okay, I'm gonna ask and ask. Now what is you? This one he will die very soon. I like that. In him state for months now he is owing people salary. God. And he will come out and he will he, nobody is doing anything about it. And that is why we have the high rate of Yahoo boys in Imo State. Because these people, Imo, in the Imo, they, they, they read a lot. They read a lot. And their parents are civil servants. When you are not helping them, these people are in school. What do you expect them to do? They have to survive. They have to buy textbooks. They have to do other things to, to survive. And that is the high rate of Yahoo in Imo State. Hold on a second. Hold, hold on a second. Nobody is Hold on. Hold on. Individual survival is the worst kind of survival because it's not survival at all. When you do, when you're doing things so for my family, I want my family to survive. Now, let's say, for instance, you know, the time um, that uh, we have invested trying to restore Biafra, that I invested it in trying to save some people in my village. For instance, I'm just giving an example. How many will you save? How many are you going to save, in all honesty? Let's say you float a foundation, and that foundation, you give that foundation five million every year to, to, to pay for school fees. Have you solved any problem at all? The answer is no. Because you wouldn't have solved the electricity issue. The bad roads will still be there. Ill health will still be there. Occasioned by, of course, poor, very poor, dilapidated health sector. These are the things people don't understand. Any day you abandon your selfishness and fight for the collective good of everybody, you have saved everybody. People don't understand. That is why you don't see the armed robbers in, in England rampaging through people's homes. No, it doesn't happen because everybody can feed. Everybody can afford to. They can go to jewelers to go and steal. They can maybe rob banks. That is understandable. But to have armed robbers terrorizing people every day or kidnapping people, it doesn't happen because everybody can feed. It is in the interest of the state that everybody, that there is no poor person, because that poor person will bring you grief and pain and anger later on. That is how they reason. That is why I, I don't understand sometimes why our people cannot elevate their level of understanding, their thinking faculty cannot go up. I don't know why that is the, the I, I can't understand it for the life of me. We are in our own land. The Fulani are going to supreme their supreme court, which they control. In broad daylight, they removed the Nogan. In broad daylight, it's not hidden. They put a Fulani man there to give you a governor. And they did. Nobody. No. Oh, um, it's school fees, my children. Let us all abandon these selfish considerations. Fight for our freedom for Biafra for once and get it and everybody will be free. The, all that problem of where will I get school fees from my pension, all that will be a thing of the past. These are the things they need to understand. These are the things they need to appreciate. These are the things they must come to reality with. These are the things they must come to terms with. Thank you very much, my dear brother, for calling. Thank you very, very much. We have another caller. Somebody has been, he hasn't even been listening. There is a particular caller. He's been calling since I peek. He doesn't talk. He's been, he doesn't do anything just to be calling. Just to be calling. And then he is about to be blocked, I believe. He'll be blocked because he doesn't, he doesn't reason. He doesn't understand. Just call, 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 call. He doesn't understand. 
He doesn't understand. We are live and we are direct, please, and we are taking your calls this very morning. We are taking your calls. The caller who happens to be on Skype, your name and where you're calling from, please. How are you doing? Good morning, sir. Good morning to you. I am the person that I called earlier. Yes. I have a question, sir. Go ahead. I am an IPOB on the route. Um, sir, in this uh, anioma, most, uh, rather, let me say few, not most, few people don't believe they are Igbo. They keep saying this thing about they are Delta Igbo. There is nobody from anioma who says, anybody from anioma who says he's not Igbo, the person is demented. The person is not well in the brain. Are they bigger than than uh, than uh, Doctor Ebibwe? Are they bigger than all the people who are the Omo of Anioma? Who are they bigger than? This, you, you, you listen to you listen to you listen to Fulani people born inside Delta State talking rubbish. These are Fulani people. They're not. Of course, maybe they're right. They're not. They're not. They're not Igbo. They can never be. They are not. What's the meaning of Anioma? I hate going through this debate over and over again. The same garbage all the time. There are some idiots who are from my haven't you is Joy Boko Igbo? That idiot from Nebu in Lagos is he Igbo? I'm asking you. He's not. I, so let us not try to, to, to glorify people who who who's who, from questionable lineage saying they are not uh, uh, they, they, they say they are, they are not Igbo. Who's the idiot that says he's not Igbo? What's the meaning of Asaba? Asaba means Ahaba. There is only two Igbo in Delta. There is only China number, there is only China in, in, in Ebony. Who is the idiot who says he could only go to easy he do? And having said that, in fact, let me so how can somebody from present day Edo State be evil and somebody from, from, from Delta is not evil? Is that not stupidity? Is that not stupidity? Go to Ibuku now. Go to I want anybody now to go to Ibu. You know where Ibuku is in Uri. Go to Ibuku and ask them what is the name of your Igwe? What is his title? His title is Idu. He do that's what he answers the same thing as he do as you have in the good people should stop being very stupid i'm not here to entertain people's ignorance if you're from a you say you're not able then you're still are you are hopeless and i leave you to your ignorance and stupidity these are people who you don't know that men were killed in asaba when uh, uh, under um the uh, when the zoo army was commanded by by motola mohammed are you not aware of that there are places how about uh, in in i am in, in anambra state all the men they are died are you not aware of that are you not aware of that that men were killed in delta and as a result there were no men to go and and then you had full army, army occupation in delta during the war they impregnated their women and they gave birth to rubbish and you want that idiot with with the full army blood to come and tell you that he that he's evil of course he's not evil. his father is from is from the north how can he be evil? how can he be i ask Please don't bring such such um, nonsense to my attention again. I don't want. I don't care. There are people who say they're not their friends, and they can never be. I don't spend time discussing them. I don't spend time discussing them. If anybody, listen, I've said it here. I don't know why people don't raise it. That is the the the, the I don't know the 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 disadvantage of being uh, of being educated in the zoo. People listen. It goes in through one ear. It pops out of the other. I don't know what is wrong with them. I've told you before that Stella Damascus or Damascus or whatever her name is, her name is her name is Ojibu. People don't want to reason. There is something called Asaba. Asaba doesn't exist. The name is Ahaba. Go there, you go to Asaba today. You see Ahaba. Ah, like I, you have an Ahabi name. What is wrong with this with these animals? Where do they come from? You know, they, you know what used to happen. Their fathers in those look at Fulani today. They sleep with their cattle. They sleep with Nama with cow in the bush. They come out and they come and marry your sister. They sleep with your sister and they give birth to, to rubbish. Won't that child reason like a cow? These are people that have sex with cow. They have cattle, cattle. How they didn't eat? They sleep with cattle. And they come out and they father rubbish. And you, you idiot goes up, buys a, a, a Chinese phone and talking rubbish. And you listen to such a fool. You have time listening to such idiots. You have you you spend your time listening to somebody whose father used to sleep with cattle, with cow, with cow. After that, they come and sleep with their mother, they give birth to them. You listen to such an idiot. I am disappointed. As some of you, you keep listening to rubbish all the time. I don't know why you people are so much attracted to gossip, like BBC. Maybe you should go and start working for BBC because they are the they are the purveyors of, of, of gossip. 
proper proper gossip is, is bbc Ibo. bbc Ibo, they are the baba of gossip that is why you must listen to us this is radio biafra we are live and direct the caller on whatsapp can you hear me yeah, i'm calling from germany and what is your name hello what is your name yeah my name is I'm so, I'm so, I'm so thank you please go ahead yeah and um i have been following your um, messages for quite long time now trying to understand the conceptual theoretical framework so i found out that you are doing a very nice job to liberate please we, we, which one is conceptual and theoretical framework i don't understand which one is conceptual and theoretical framework break it down so our mothers in the village can understand because they're listening go ahead in the position of IPOP, your position is clear that it wants the restoration of Biafra, which has already existed. So that position is what I mean by theoretical framework, which I have already understood. Thank you. So now, and now um, I want you. Um, the question is, why do you people, or why do we allow a foreigner to be ruling the indigenous people? That's a very big question. That's one of the fundamental causes of the problem. Why do you, why do everybody allow the minority foreigners to be ruling you people? Who are the majority? This is the big problem in the nation. Who are the minority? And they are not the majority. And they are really you people, irrespective of their inability to study or educational enlightenment, or etc. etc. And some question is Britain. Britain is playing a very dangerous rule in Africa, trying to, you know, maintain their own interests without putting in consideration the interests of the indigenous people. So I'm very happy that this movement is there, and I wish that you will be continuous, and I'm there to support it any time, any moment. I live in Germany, I'm an administrator, and I'm an activist too. So I find it very good what you are doing. Very, very good. That's my contribution and question. Thank you, thank you very, very much for that. Thank you for that. The reason why foreigners, the reason why these people are ruling everybody is because they have a tried and tested method that worked for them. When they subdued the Hausa people, the Hausa people now, out of foolishness, helped them to subdue other people as well. And now Britain came. Britain, Britain wanted to build a very strong, um, how can I put it? A, a very strong nation or country, because the zoo can never be a nation, with the right number of people in it, with the right number of population, and also influence. So Britain got very lucky. So they put everybody... Let me tell you what happened. When they sent Lugard to come to zoo, they didn't send Lugard to come and do colonialism, no. They sent Lugard to stop the advance of the French. The French had taken everywhere. They took uh, uh, Bene Republic, and the, uh, which was then Dahomey, and was advancing into Badagri. So they recalled Lugard from Hong Kong and sent him to go and stop the advance of the French. Do you know what Lugard did? Lugard came to Badagri and um, met uh, most um, Yoruba um, um, chiefs. And he tore up the agreement that they signed with the French. He gave them tobacco and whiskey. And they signed one with him instead. That is the reason why Yoruba land is divided into two. Some are in Benin Republic and some are in Nigeria. But I do hope and pray. My prayer, you know, sometimes when I speak to my Yoruba brothers, I say to them, can you imagine how mighty Oduduwa nation will be 
if you're able to unite with your blood brothers, your, your kit and king in Benin Republic, in Dahomey, do you know how mighty the Yoruba nation will be? I mean mighty. Do you know how mighty they will be? But we allow, we, we started by allowing foreigners to come. Is this that today? A foreigner can come from Europe and look at a whole Yoruba race, the Oduduwa race, talk them into to say, you, you are French, uh, go and be speaking uh, uh, French in, uh, in uh, Benin Republic. The other one, you are English, you belong to the British. These are the things every time we preach and preach and preach and say to Africans, we need you to reason. All Oduduwa people are one, both those in Benin Republic and those who happen to be in the zoo. They should be one, imagine one mighty, homogeneous Oduduwa nation struggling uh, Benin Republic and the zoo. But will, will France allow that? Will Britain allow that? The answer is no. They won't allow it. But maybe it will only take the desire and the courage of the people to rise up. Look at the Fulani, they have nothing, they contribute nothing, intellectually they are zero. But they are warmongers. The thing is that they keep warring and warring and warring until they wear you down. They keep coming after you, that is the Fulani trick. They keep coming after you, they keep coming and coming until they wear you down. That was how they managed to get a place at Lord Ugu. They occupy it, they take people's land, they don't pay. Be, that is why they are more interested in having recruits in the army and in the police than in going to school. They are not interested. Because they know that in Africa, whoever controls the trigger of AK-47 controls the politics. That's what they have done. And our people, it's only now that the Yoruba, when I see them, when I see their defense of Amopeku, I am now saying something that I have long prayed for, that I will see. You know, do the white people. Now I'm saying it. You can see their resilience. You can see they are saying no. You don't tamper with it. Yesterday, all their senior advocates came out. They interviewed them in Vanguard Museum. They came and they said, no, 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 no. We, I'm not a cool must stay because they have realized that a typical useless, treacherous, evil, a fool, a fool. He did your eyes on presidency. Uh, maybe I will get minister. Maybe if one of us uh, in uh, in Ohanese becomes the president, my children will be appointed the minister. We can buy houses in Dubai as well and be like them. They don't know that this is a poisoned chalice. Iron Sea was there. They killed him. Nothing happened. They forgot that Azikiwe was there. They, they, at the center of everything that, the, the, that was meant to be nice about the zoo, they skimmed him out. How about these refraps? How are these useless refraps that cannot speak? Well, I ask them, go and ask any traitor, any Efulef. When Ihejirika was fighting Boko Haram, a clear cut terrorist movement, did they not keep quiet? They told Jonathan you must move Ihejirika, and Jonathan foolishly did. They came out and said that a fight against Boko Haram is a fight against the North. They defended them, they did not win the presidency. Our own people is they are the only ones that if you come out and stand up for your people, you will lose your political um, 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 career, it will be over. If you stand up for your people, somehow, somehow, Fulani will take all your powers away. But I ask them to look at Habaribe. Habaribe is standing very strong, defending the truth. Is he not the, now the highest ranking um, um, uh, uh, Biafran politician you have in the, in the chambers? Is he not? So that tells you that speaking the truth and standing courageously pays off. Why can't we understand that? I, I said, look at Abari Bay for speaking the truth. Is he not now the highest ranking politician in the, in, the, in the Zoo legislature? Is he not the highest one? Has he stopped him from speaking the truth and condemning what happened in Enugu? If it was someone like Abari Bay coming out and saying, I want to be president, I can't even understand. Not, look, at the cow, look at the bunch of a full of, bunch of cowards that they are touting. They want to be president. They kill your people, you cannot speak. They come to occupy your village, you cannot talk. They rape your mothers, you cannot talk. And you want to be Jacob or no alcohol. God punish all of you, you people are idiots. You are all idiots. Go and somebody should please go and get that clip from, from, from Channels TV. I think his name is Akre Dolu. Send it to every tweet and tag all the useless governors. Show them how men speak. 
These are your people who used to say they are cowards. Look at how they are speaking, standing up to Fulani, telling Fulani, despite the fact that Yoruba have almost 30% Muslim population, they are standing up to Muslims and telling them to go to hell that are not a common stand. Look at your own. Look at your own. Uh, I must also recognize the role, the very fatherly, elderly role that Professor. Oh, my goodness me. Oh, dear me. My mind is going. Professor Nwala, please. I do apologize. Did you see what Professor Nwala did? That is how elders behave, that is how men behave. You have killed my children because of that. I'm resigning from this useless security committee of the Southeast. He resigned. If you ask them, oh, there is a way to do it. Oh, okay, see, Emilia, there is a way you come through the back door. You pretend you love Fulani, and then they pretend they love you, and they give you what you want. Who told you that? Where and when? How? Show me where it has ever worked before. Show me where this, your approach, has ever worked before. You appease terrorists. Where has it ever worked in life? It has never worked in life. People that sleep with cattle in the next day, they, they impregnate rubbish. They put them in the army. They don't, no wonder they are terrorists. They reason like animals. They reason like animals. That is the way they are. That is the truth. Britain covered for them. Trained uh, Amadubelo, trained Tafabalewa to speak Queen's English. My goodness, they spoke very good. Fine grammar. Confused all of you. Told Zeke, oh, don't worry. You will be your excellency. We give you governor general or president general. He foolishly accepted. If you ask him, say, Oh, don't worry, after this, we'll get them. When they joined the MPN, the same thing. Uh, uh, don't worry, after second, you promise we'll go there. Did it happen? Our people never learn. Did it ever? All these, all these permutations, all these years, you've been combining one formula with the other to survive in the zoo. Has it ever worked? Has it ever worked? Why can't all of you so-called politicians be like Abaribe and speak the truth? Are they going to arrest all of you at the same time? They can't. Have they arrested Yoruba governors? Have they arrested them? Yoruba governors, they formed them what they could before they ratified it in their various houses of assembly. Have they capitulated? Have they caved in? These are the things you ought to know. These are the things you need to know. These are the things that makes you men. Let us take this call. The caller on the line, can you hear me, please? Can you hear me? Turn your system down, please. Your name and where you're calling from, turn your system down. The world can hear your voice. Turn your system down, please. Your name and where you're calling from. My name is uh, Justice uh, Wanchuku. I'm from Imo State. Uh, um, I'm from Imo State and I'm calling from uh, Germany. Isn't it very funny how we take the nomenclature of um, Fulani people? We now refer to ourselves as a state. What is the meaning of Imo state? Oh, uh, okay. I'm, I'm from Imo state, uh, Olo, precisely. You are from Olo, you're not from Imo and state. I don't like Imo state. In Biafra land, I don't like Imo state. Please go ahead. Olo, Olo, Biafra land. Please go ahead. <laughs> all right. Um, first of all, I need to thank you very much for all you've been doing for our people and. Uh, Actually, it's a very big honor for me to speak with you today because I've been longing for a very long time to have a one-on-one -on -one talk with you and uh, at least congratulate you for all the enlightenment you brought to our people. So since I've come across you, I've learned a lot about uh, life, about our people in general, everything. So I want to thank you. I want to thank you on that. Thank so you. what? Uh, what I actually want to bring to your notice today is uh, about uh, the leadership of our people. We call it the, our elites, our governors, our senators, our lawmakers from uh, Biafra land. So I want to ask you what you have to, what you're planning or what you want to do when it comes to our leaders in Biafra land. Because the way the situation is, the Fulanese, neither is it the Yorubas. But the problem we are having in the uh, effort of uh, actualizing this uh, Biafra happen to come from our own people. Because if uh, somebody who is at home doesn't tell the outsider how your backyard looks like, I don't think they can know your secret. 
So everything that is happening to us, all the difficulty we've been facing recently is as a result of uh, sabotage from our own people, the people we have around us. So my no, question is uh, now. how... It didn't start now because, because as I said before, the goat that doesn't eat yam, if it keeps following and looking at the one that eats yam, one day it will start eating yam as well. Our history as a people, since the British amalgamated us with the, with the Janjaweed from the north, has been that of treachery and betrayal. And that is the truth. It sounds very painful, but it's the truth. Britain started by betraying our way of life, our tradition, our culture with the warrant chief system. That persevered. Instead of the villagers, as our mothers did in 1929, to reject these warrant chiefs, after a while, because they brought Formula 2, they brought tobacco, they brought whiskey, they brought a snap, all those rubbish, they brought chewing gum, our people started going to their houses and to, to, uh, sneaking in in the night to go and drink uh, aromatic snap. I hear one of that. That was how we started to support treachery and betrayal. This was pre-independence from colonial times when Britain came. Now listen carefully. We sneak in, we know that having a warrant chief system is against our way of life. Over the years, you accepted it. Today we have Igwe, we have Eze, we have all this rubbish all over the place. Understand this very well. Secondly, Azikiwe came. Azikiwe betrayed us. He said to us, there's a way to do it. Don't worry. I'm not going to be prime minister, but somehow Azikiwe was the only man who was a frontline nationalist in Africa that never made it to the head of state. That was how Britain created the artificial position of president, ceremonial president. Azikiwe, everybody else, Nkrumah, uh, Nyerere, um, um, name them now, Kenneth Kaunda, um, 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 Uhuru uh, Kenyatta, of Kenya, um, who else again? Um, Patis Lumumba um, of the Den Zaire. Just everybody who led the nationalist movement in their country went on to lead that very country. That is the natural order of life. The only place it never happened, the front line agitator for nationalism in the zoo was Azikiwe. Azikiwe went to prison. Azikiwe was in Ghana on exile. Ahmadu Bello never went to prison. Tafawa Balewa never went to prison. The British never locked them up. They never went on exile. The, I want you to understand this. Only Azikiwe went on exile and was in prison. Of course, Awe will fought very hard as well. When the time came for who is going to lead the country, they bypassed Azikiwe. Instead of Azikiwe to say no, because it was within Azikiwe's power to say, I want Biafra, I am going. Azikiwe chose to be part of one Nigeria because he had a, they gave him a girlfriend from the north. He had a son called Mohammed. He saw himself as the glue that would bind the whole of Nigeria together. And over the years, as I kept saying, Azikiwe was a very big role model, very, very huge. His influence cannot be underestimated. The man was intelligent. I give it very, very intelligent. He was awesome. Brain wise, intelligent, awesome. But he messed up the total. Now, what happened was every subsequent politician looked up to Azikiwe and started playing the politics of Azikiwe, politics of appeasement. Azikiwe supported Biafra. He was the one that composed Biafra National Anthem. It was Azikiwe. Dr. Azikiwe did. He was working together with Ojupu. After a while, they asked Ojupu, oh, if you finish this thing you're doing, he's, he's going to be sick oh, again. The same thing he did to El Yorita. Zik, um, Ojupu said no. He changed because of leadership. He switched overnight. The reason why I am pointing all these things is that so our people will understand the genesis of the politics of betrayal, the politics of treachery. It has been there from time. But look at the Yoruba people. Yoruba, Awulowo have been saying no from day one. Day one, no, no, no to the zoo. Did they not get everything? I want to let all these flavor politicians understand something. You learn from as Ozuna Mari Kesa Ogani I can't I don't know, please translate in English. I don't I don't know how to say it in English. If you don't know how to do Ogene, we look at the tale of a kite to learn. Remember that Awolo was in opposition. Every time Yoruba will be saying no, 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 no. They dare not get everything they want. 
Are they not going to give them the presidency in 2023? All of you that keep saying, yes, 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 yes. If Flanny say roll over, you, you say yes. If Flanny say pull down your boxer shot to your knee, you take the whole thing off. If leave. They will wrestling you in the north. After that, did they give you anything? Have you gotten anything from them? I am. I, my greatest joy in life will be to wake up tomorrow and hear that the governors are now behaving like men. They are saying no to them. You don't expect to one to come out alone and fight the full army. They will impeach him in your eyes. You say, and in fact, as they see him states now, those who are supporting that idiot now, uh, what's the, the fool's name? Um, um, that idiot, uh, the uh, 419. Who puts them? Those supporting who puts them? Do they not know that it was the foreigners that put him there? I want you to understand the extent of the damage that selfishness can cause to an evil man. How damaging selfishness is. Because of selfishness, you want to eat, is your turn. You are damaging our way of life. You are damaging something that generations unborn will pay for. Do you understand it now? Do you now understand it? People who should have said no, we don't want hope. We may not have voted for 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 Inhedia that won the election. But we cannot accept this process that gave birth. That is the difference between white and black people. We cannot accept this process that gave birth to hope. It's not good. It's not for my sake. It's for the sake of my children. Because if I allow it to stand, my, during the time of my children, they can bring a janja with the name of state and say you are the governor of the state. Don't you know that? Our people are learned, but they, we mess up everything all the time. As I said, I will be, I will serve them loyally. If they can wake up tomorrow morning and start to speak like Yoruba, look at Yoruba governors. Why won't you? Why won't their their men be loyal to them? Look at the way they speak. Look at the way they speak. Go and look at that Akere Dolu. Look at the, the. Of course, they say the wife is evil. Maybe that's why. Look at the way he was speaking, telling me Yala to go to hell, and they will get what they want. Do you know that? We floated BSS. The, uh, in fact, it was it was Igbo governors that asked the full army to bring their army and come and kill us. But they formed a multi coup in the west. The full army started complaining. There is no law. They said, "Okay, we'll go back to our various houses of assembly." And they went and they formulated the laws. And today is standing. Look at your own. Because and sometimes I don't even blame the politicians because if you now go to them and say, "Oh, we'll remove you. We'll put your brother there." You will see those following that his brother, that his tre treacherous brother. Until we teach them a lesson. The lives of hope who's on the mountain, we teach them a lesson. Until we have men like Professor Mwala, who's on the Mawala, who can stand on their honor. I don't want to say anything bad against anybody, but we should be able to learn. Until our politicians learn to speak like Habariba. Until our elders learn to behave like professors or the mawala, we will be in a very serious mess. And IPOB is the only solution. I want people to understand why we are the way we are. We are the way we are because of failure of leadership. There is none whatsoever. A man, a traditional ruler, will go to the north. He will come back without his boxer shorts. And the wife cannot ask the husband, where is your box? Why do you live it in Kaduna? Or not in Kan or in Sokot? Do you see what is happening to us? Do you see why we do what we do and why we are the way we are? Your children are being killed. You claim you are an elder. You cannot come out and condemn it entirely. But when Boko Haram was being killed, a terrorist organization, the, the then dead, now dead Buhari, stood up to defend them. And they voted for him to become president. You never learn. All of you never learn. In the only case here, me. Sabo, when they, when they, when they impregnate cattle, and then after that they impregnate your mother to give birth to you, what do you expect? Rubbish as always. Let us take, this is the final call we are going to take. The caller on WhatsApp, can you hear me? Good morning, sir. Good morning to you. Your name and where you are calling from? Yeah. My name is Erika. I'm from Anambra State, but I live in Benin Republic. Benin Republic. Your name is Erika from Anambra. Where in Anambra? There's something like Anambra State. Where are you from? 
Okay, Anna, okay, okay, yes, very good. I understand now. I understand now. Anna, go ahead, please. Yeah. Thank you so much for helping us a lot. I really appreciate it. Hello, I heard from you saying about the airflow, the danger weed. Forgetting that the, they are human from, but they, they have animals in them that they are There's no way we can be in a country with, with an animal. Uh, so, animal breeds, we are supposed to be a human being. No, the more be an animal than a human form. Please, I appreciate your effort. I appreciate your effort. You know, our leaders, governors, they are not supporting you because they all are looking for the president. But if they know that after this struggle, you are the one that will be our leader. So that is why they are jealous of you. They want to be the president. So thank you so much. Thank you a lot for helping us. Thank you. Matuko Kamara also bless you and keep you. That is our final call for today. And please, um, what makes our Friday mornings very special is the quality of questions that people ask. If you come on air and you don't ask difficult questions, I cannot provide answers to them. And we cannot learn in the process. Please, from next week, Friday, I, I beg and I plead with each and every one of you, when you call, write down the questions you want to ask before time, please. Or maybe we should start vetting it and, and look for the most difficult questions to answer. But all the same, I thank each and every one of you that have contributed this morning. All of you have listened to us. And as always, Biafra is our religion. And only IPOB can save us. Here on radio, Biafra is where we worship because you could is our God. We pray for our governors to change. We pray for them to repent and develop some balls as men, as men. To develop some balls. They wear trousers, don't they? To stand like men. Because from what I'm seeing right now, 